any uh, nuggets for uh, professionals in midlife, let's say 40 plus or minus, uh, again, the careers you've observed, uh, any insights on dealing with uh, sort of the anxieties of midlife? What have you learned? You know, somebody was asking me, uh, I wrote a lot in the book on, you know, what are you going to do in the first half? And they said, when are you going to write a book on what it is take to sec- succeed in the second half? And I said, I have to still succeed in my second half to write that book. <laughs> yeah. but, but at least to get a good start to the second half. Yeah, a good start to the second. I think here is, uh, I think to me, the key of the second half, if you if you're still focused on how do I succeed, I think you start to minimize the chance of your own success. In the second half, if you start to say, how do I get others to succeed? How do I get my company to succeed? How do I get the business to succeed? And how do I leverage all that I have learned to get others to succeed and the company to succeed? I think you start to become a lot more effective and a lot more productive. Yeah, And I think that willingness to subordinate your success for the success of the ecosystem and others is what I think helps you succeed. So it is not a means, it's not social service I am advocating. It is actually a means to you succeeding. Is to understand that in the second half, your success is based on the success of the ecosystem. We succeed as individuals or in small microcosms in the first half. But we succeed in very macro ecosystems in the second half. And, and if we bring that mindset and say that's what I'm trying to make work, I think a chance of success goes up. 